Hello, my name is Paul, and I want to show you how you can make a bottle opener using Photoshop CC and have it 3D printed very easily. In fact, you can see this file is already set up for you, but this bottle opener PSD, you can see this 3D layer right here, and if you open up the 3D panel, you can already see some shapes in here. So you have the current view, and I'm going to turn that on. Command H or Control H if you're on a PC, and you can start to rotate this around and just check out this object. So this is really already set up for you, and you can print this out. But we want to customize this specifically for us, which is why there's this additional layer. So turn on this shape layer, and you can see that particular shape. So uh, moving this over and adjusting the view, you can see this could be a fraternity, sorority, could even be someone's name. Chances are this is the part that you're going to want to customize. So select shape, and just as an overview over how this was created, uh, really it's just a matter of creating a vector shape or even a bitmap shape, but creating a vector shape and selecting 3D extrusion, clicking create, and then there at this point, this is my 3D shape that I've made. Okay, so I will delete that layer and dive back into where this is. And you can see since that is set up, going into the properties panel, clicking edit source, you can see this is a flat file. So you don't have to worry about messing with meshes. You could come in here. Now the key thing in here is whatever's in here, it has to be on one layer in order to be extruded. That's why this is a smart object. So if I happen to want to just change one letter, I can double click on that and change this, you know, to P for instance, and uh, that will be extruded. Nonetheless, uh, this is the name of the fraternity, whatever the case may be, could be something else entirely, which is why I'm going to turn on this text layer that says Ron, my brother's name, so I can print this out for him. So, uh, with that done, just saving that change, closing it, you can see there it is, Ron, and uh, you can see that it's set up. Now, the reason the kerning is so tight between these letters is because it all needs to be connected to be one solid shape, and you can see that it is, okay? And you can start to adjust this and manipulate it further if I select shape. Coming in here, say for instance, uh, the bevel, if I wanted to change the bevel right up here, I can maybe make it smooth, and I've smoothed out the bevel, and I can make it more or less. It's a very subtle effect, but you get the idea, and I can, again, adjust that curve, and I'm just playing with the bevel there, all done right through here, or just select a setting. Okay, so all in all, that looks good. You can also adjust the extrusion depth, and you can even go beyond that, because if we take a look, Really, all this is, even if I turn off that shape layer, this bottle opener is just a shape that's been extruded as well. So that's all it is. So going into edit source, at this point, if I wanted to uh, potentially add the name Ron, maybe on top, as I kind of change this slightly like that, I can put the name on top here if I wanted to, and it could be extruded that way. And just like I said earlier, it does have to be one solid shape, so I'd take these two layers and I'd convert them to a smart object, so they're one solid shape. Okay, uh, with that done, uh, you can see, I can save that, close it, and you can see now that's extruded. And that might work out well, because maybe you could put your finger in there, and that's a new bottle opener. But really, have fun with this file. Uh, at this point, you can play with what you want, and then have it printed. So selecting scene, this is my last step. This option right here, 3D print settings, you can also get to it right up here. Uh, 3D print settings, but from here you can print a Sculptio or Shapeways. Selecting Shapeways, I'm going to stick with detailed uh, plastic, okay, so I'm just going to select a detailed plastic, black or white, just so we could see it, uh, but in general I'm going to click this button right down here. Now it doesn't matter the material I've just chosen, I typically select a detailed one that says detailed because I want the 3D model to be really sharp. Okay, sometimes if you select ceramic and you decide you want to change it to something that has more detail, your 3D model will not have that detail. So select detailed. So it's basically having a high res 
uh, photo, you can always down res it, but you can't up res it. Same concept here. Uh, nonetheless, you can see it right there, and you'll notice a couple different colors. Okay, so right in here, you can see uh, this area right here and this top part right here. That's basically where walls were thickened. Okay, so those walls were thickened, therefore it will print out okay, but Photoshop takes care of all of that for you. You can see it right there. Now, the reason it's almost $50 is based on uh, the material and size. So since this is a solid object and this is a large bevel, that's why it costs a lot. So we'll just play with the depth of these items and it will definitely drop the cost if you're concerned about that. At that point, just hit export to your desktop as I'm doing right now. It will open up the Shapeways site where you'll then upload your particular file like I'm doing now, and uh, you can see it right here. It looks nice and crisp, and then you'll see all the different materials down below. In fact, you can see the price for the strong and flexible plastic. As we go down into acrylic, it's a little more expensive. Remember, this is solid stainless steel. That's why it's so expensive. I would easily make uh, the extrusion less thick in order to drop that price or change what's being put in the bevel. All in all, from there, you can add that to your cart, have it printed out, and uh, give it to whoever you want or use it yourself.